Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video that shows you how to access the grades and the results from the forms, exams, as well as quizzes that you would have made. So the first thing you do is go ahead and open up your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm on Google. Now in the top, I'm going to go ahead and go over to forms.office.com. And because I am already logged in, all of the forms that I would have created up to this point will show up. I also want to show you um, where to get forms that would have been shared with you. So once you click on shared with me, you're going to see all of the forms that other persons, maybe your colleagues would have shared with you for your use. Or maybe it's a class that you're teaching and sharing with someone else. So once you click on shared with me, you're going to see all of those forms. But I'll go back to my forms. And I want to take a look at a task that I would have used in the past and show you how to access that information. So I'm going to click on the form that I want to pull information from. And it's going to take you to the first page where your questions are. And on this page, you can add questions, remove questions, edit, and make changes to your tests. Now we're going to select the option that says responses. Once I click on responses, it's going to give me all of the analytics to the tests. So it'll let me know how many persons took the tests, what the average score was, and this of course is the raw score. And it's also going to give me the status, whether the exam or the test or the form is active or closed. If it's closed, that means that no one else will be able to respond or take that test or exam. Now let's talk about getting our responses and answers. You could just scroll through and see how students responded, but I'm going to select the option that says open in Excel. And what that does, you'll see it should say we're opening in Excel and at the very bottom, it downloads an Excel document for you. So once you've downloaded the Excel document and you have it opened on the screen, this is what you will see. Right here where it says name of student, you're going to see the student's actual name. Now I changed it in this case just for confidentiality and to protect the student's interest. But you will see each student's name as they listed it in the exam. And keep in mind, your first question should always be student name so or name of student so that you're able to identify who the points belong to. Now, what I want you to note is that there's going to be a lot of information that you don't need. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to remove all of the extra information. The only thing I need is this column that says total points and the column that says name of student. So first thing I'll do, I'm going to select column A, and then I'll hold on it and drag my mouse over until I get to E. These columns I do not need. So once I've selected them, I'm going to right click on my mouse and select delete. That removes all of the information that I don't need. There's also some other information to the right that I don't need. So I'll select column D, and I'm going to drag my mouse all the way over until I've selected all of the information that I don't want. And it's a good bit. Now I'm going to again right click and select delete. So now I have, I can also remove column D just by clicking it and delete. Now I have the information that I need. I have their total points and the student's name. Again, just to remind you, their names will be listed here, but I swapped it out for confidentiality. Please keep in mind that what you see here is going to be the student's raw score. So it's not going to be the percentages automatically. Now, if your exam or your quiz or your test was out of 100 points, then yes, this will be the percentage and you can just take this, whatever the grade is here and put it into your grade book. Now, let's say you don't or you didn't make your quiz or your test or your exam out of 100. You can, of course, manually calculate the percentages. And I think up to this point, we all know how to do that. But let me show you how to take this raw score and convert it to a percentages using Excel. 
So I'm going to click on the cell C, that's just next to the student's name. I'm going to start to type. First thing I'll type is equal. When I use this equal function, it tells the Excel document that this is now going to be some function that I want the, com the computer to calculate for me. So I'm going to press equal. Then I'm going to select the cell that has the student's points. So student one got 24 points, so I'm going to select that cell. All right. And you should see at total points, all of that. Now, because this test was out of 33 points, I'm going to press the slash button, 33. Now, I want it to calculate as a percentage, right? So I don't want to just divide it by 33, which is what I would have told the computer to do with that slash 33. I also want the computer to make it a percentage. So I'm going to press my asterisk button. So times 100. And I will, let's see if it works. Press enter. And the good thing is it calculated all, the, all of the percentages for me. So I now have a percentage for every student. I may have to round to get um, two, two digits, but I can also show you that the computer does the rounding for you. So I'm going to select this column. And at the top, I see this option that says number. And then the option that says decrease decimal, so show fewer decimal places, I'm going to hit that. Well, it won't let me do because this first cell isn't a number. But I'll just do these few. So I'll select those few and then start to decrease the decimal. And there you go, easy peasy. I have a number that I can now input into my grade book with the students' percentages for their quizzes, their tests, or whatever it is that I would have calculated for, for them, whether it was an assignment, a quiz, a test, an exam. All right, I hope this video helps you as we bring this term to a close. Goodbye, everyone.